With technology advancing every day, electricity becomes one of the most important aspects in modern day living. However, most countries in sub-Saharan region like Zambia have less or no connectivity to the electric grid. Hence, the Rural Electrification Authority has been on the grassroots to power up rural areas in Zambia. According to DT Global, only 5% of the rural population has access to electricity in the Southern African country. However, as Rural Electrification Authority is trying to power up and connect the people to the national grid, vandalism has characterized their infrastructure with the latest being in Shamilimo and Munyati area in Shiwunji district of central province Zambia. The long arm of the law will take its course to ensure that this criminality stops. The government is doing a lot through the authority and the support tours of this kind will not be tolerated. So we'll continue working with the community and obviously the police to just make sure that this Residents have bemoaned the vice, saying it will halt development in the area. So I am right in the Funiwa and the suppose Uta Kayam Bajabi Matandis one Kala Kokai Kukini Kuja obviously Banga Pangeko Prani Yakuti but Fakem Kumamochari ba increase the Kumanga Pamene Vid Venima High School Pugankara Maraiti won't save Vipes. Manjing at Maraiti Safika, Nishivo was to save you. We made it to hire the gensets and it's costly for us. Imagine at the moment we are saying about twenty two quarter, twenty three quarter fuel petrol. Per liter. So it means for us to run the genset for about four or five hours, we need a lot of money in order to cover. We have 69 candidates, internal candidates, and 63 external candidates. That's for grade nine. Now imagine that number for it to be covered with the, a few computers that can run using the genset. And we know the genset maybe can only run about 10, 11 computers for how long and this uh, practical is an ongoing thing if there is no sun for today there is no any computer study and then even the work here it's hard because it, we, when we have to plant our hair the salons the power and the batteries we have to suffer for making our hair look nice meanwhile one culprit has been apprehended and he has been identified to be a driver who works for the power utility company zesco between 24 hours to zero one somewhere there when we saw a strange vehicle parked somewhere uh, we tried to, uh, to to get closer to it and uh, want to find that uh, it was loaded with a, with the cables they that's how we we manhandled the driver got the keys of the car there were five actual of them one of them we nabbed him with the evidences there we handed it to the police the headman also gave a stern warning to all the vandals let me just tell the the general public those perpetrators who think maybe they can continue with this vandalism we are very much on alert under this area I, I would say it is a no-go area for vandalism we, we are together as a community and we want to make sure that we come together and we are not condoning any nonsense and engineer chanda says it will take up to a month's time for the rural electrification authority to replace the stolen conductors this project was completed a long time ago and there were just uh, some logistics which were trying to make this go to make sure that we connect to the existing line. I think in, uh, in a month's time, 
we should be able to repair the line work as well as engage the score so that we connect with people and start benefiting.